This is the Comanche Buffalo Short Bow. And the preferred wood for Comanche people is the Osage Orange or the Bodark Bow. You'll see three bows that I brought in that are from my family. Uh, there's a certain time of the year that you go and find your Bodark wood, usually in shelter belts here in Oklahoma. But if you notice, we have a yellow and we have kind of a mixture, but you also have a finished product here. And the reason is, if you ever work with wood, boat arc, when you first cut it into staves, you begin to work your product with your Comanche short bow, you have a coloration of yellow. So this beginning of a bow that you make, in Comanche you say, ohopt hoopi. Ohopt is the color yellow in Comanche. Hoopi is wood. So we call this yellow wood. And as you look at boat arc, the people that know woodworking, this, as it ages, it changes color. And this finished product, Comanche Short Buffalo Bow, is called Ekahupi. It's kind of a reddish brown, so it becomes a red bow. Or red wood is what we call it, Ekahupi. The bow itself that the Comanches use, the Comanche word for it is called Eti. Eti. Eti in Comanche. So these are the uh, short bows, and they're normally about maybe four foot long and they were maneuverable because these are destined for use on horseback. They're not like the English longbows. They're used for hunting buffalo, hunting as far as uh, even just for small game, and these are remarkable for use on the horse, and these are patterned after my great-grandfather's bow that survived from the 1800s, and this is the one I thought I'd bring in because this was made from one of the traditional archers named uh, Carney Saw Pity Sr., my father. So a lot of what I know, uh, that's why I hold my dad up in high esteem. These are things that we made, and he was really the, the master craftsman as far as I was concerned. But these are your Comanche bows, and the bow that we preferred was the boat arc. This is a finished product of the Comanche Osage Orange or boat arc bow. This is your back of your bow, and this is your belly. These are, you're looking for your grain at the end of the woods. You want to find a boat arc that really in your stay that has very little knots, so the time you put into it, you'll end up with a good product just like this at the end. But the thing about Comanches, even of olden times, uh, this is called your belly, which is sop. And this is your back, which is your quahi. But the thing about this, the old Comanches, on many of them, you would have the tuft of, her of horse hair, the tuft of horse hair on top of your bow. It would be a decoration piece. And you would also have symbols of Comanche culture would have on the inside different type of designs, and uh, it has maybe symbolic meaning at, at different times of their period, wherever they were at, 1700s, 1800s, but it was all decorations in terms of what was inside the bowl that they carried. But the tuft here, the horse hair, is, which is a tuft that you tie and glue to your top of your bows, the top part of your, your uh, boat arc, uh, Comanche short bow.